Today, we're diving into a really powerful networking concept that every home lab enthusiast should know about, which is Split Horizon DNS. If you've ever wanted to access your self-hosted services using clean domains like nextcloud.yourdomain.com or jellyfin.yourdomain.com from inside your network without your traffic ever having to leave your home and coming back in, this video is for you. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have complete Split Horizon DNS setup using Pi-hole and Nginx Proxy Manager, complete with valid SSL certificates using DNS01 challenge validation. So first, let's talk about what Split Horizon DNS actually is. Split Horizon DNS, sometimes called Split Brain DNS, is a configuration where your DNS server returns different IP addresses for the same domain name depending on where the query comes from. Here's a simple example. Say that you own domain.com and when someone on the internet looks up, say, jellyfin.yourdomain.com, they're going to get a your public IP. So say it's 7. Dot, you know, x dot x dot x and then say they ask for jellyfin say you ask for jellyfin dot your domain dot com but you're inside your network your internal dns server is actually going to respond with your internal ip address same domain name different ip addresses that's pretty much split horizon dns there are three main reasons why you would want this performance reliability and security your traffic stays local you don't have to hairpin through your router or isp reliability your services work even if your internet connection goes down and security you're not exposing internal services to the public internet, but you can still use proper domain names and SSL certificates. Here's how we're going to set this up. We're going to use Pi-hole as our internal DNS server. Pi-hole is primarily known as an ad blocker, but it is also a full featured DNS server that's perfect for this use case. It is actually using a service called DNS mask in the background. Then we'll use Nginx Proxy Manager as our reverse proxy. This will sit in front of all your services and handle SSL certificates and all of its routing. Now, here's the clever part. Instead of creating individual A records for every single domain, subdomain, we're going to create one A record for our base domain pointing to Nginx Proxy Manager, and then we'll use CNAME records to alias all our subdomains to the base domain. Now, I will show you guys how to do all of this, so if it sounds confusing, don't worry. I'm going to walk it through step by step, and we're going to get this up and running in no time. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our environment, for our testing purposes, we are going to set up a Windows box and two Linux servers. The two Linux servers is going to be our Pi-hole server, which is running DNS. Our second Linux server is going to be Nginx Proxy Manager, which is going to handle all the routing and SSL certificates. And then we are going to have our Windows VM, which we're going to use as our test subject to set the DNS servers or on our Windows VM to the Pi-hole IP address to show that it does and can resolve internal DNS names and still work with SSL certificates. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is set up our pie hole. So here we have a DOS at pie hole. We are in our first VM. And the first thing that we pretty much always need to do is install Docker. So let's go ahead and create a new tab and go into Docker Docs. Scroll down just a little bit. This link will be in the description below. If you guys are also running Ubuntu, this will work perfect for you guys and you'll see setting up Docker's repository. We're just gonna go ahead and copy that, go back to our Linux VM, paste that in and press enter. And let's go ahead and type in our password. Once that is done, open up your browser again, scroll down just a little bit where you're gonna see the install command for Docker. Go back to our PyHole instance, paste that in. Should ask you to confirm, go ahead and press Y, enter. And let's go ahead and let that finish. Once that is done, you should have Docker installed. So go ahead and do Docker space dash V. We do have Docker installed. And now we're going to need to install PyHole. Go to your browser. This link will also be in the description below. Go ahead and click Docker install. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the Docker compose. Go ahead and copy that. Go back to our PyHole and do Vim. Actually, we're going to go ahead and go into sudo. Just make things a little bit easier for us. And then we're going to do vim docker-compose.yml and then just paste that in. Now, this is a DNS server, so it is going to be running on port 53. 53 is actually used by System Resolve, which is uh, it's just a base service that's already in Ubuntu. So if you go ahead and launch or you bring up the containers with docker compose up space dash D, it's going to pull the container with no issues. But when it tries to start the container, it's going to yell at you saying port 53 is already in use. There is a very easy fix for this. The commands that you want to enter will be in the description below. Go ahead and do docker compose down, paste the commands in. 
And then all we have to do is do docker compose up dash D and then it'll start and it won't yell it for the port 53 conflict anymore. Now we want to go ahead and actually get the IP for this box, which is 10.0.0.132. And then we're going to want to open up our browser and just go to that IP. So we're going to see this oops access denied. All you have to do is click this blue text right here and it just adds forward slash admin for slash login. So that's all that is. Now, what is the password? There are many ways that you could get this password but the if you don't change anything about the docker compose the passwords actually in plain text you do not want this i highly recommend using a environment file or the uh, pihole docs actually have a way to uh, securely generate one for this tutorial we're just going to use the plain text password but please change it on your own setup paste that in and log in so we have pihole running very easy DNS server is already running. It's easy as that. Now we're going to do a few things in here before we do anything else. We're going to go into settings here on the left side and click local DNS record. So you're going to see the left side is your quote unquote a records. The right side is your C name records. Before we do anything here, next thing we want to set up is our Nginx proxy manager. So the th same thing I'm actually going to go ahead and speed run. This is we're going to need to install Docker. So I'll just follow the same steps that you guys uh, followed for the pie hole server. Once that is done, scroll down, go ahead and install Docker, watt enter, and just like that. So let's go ahead and same thing. Let's go ahead and go into sudo and vim docker dash compose dot yml. Now I'm going to speed through this because I do have a video on how to install Nginx proxy manager. This will be in the description below. If you guys want to watch that, I'm going to speed run through this because it's it's same exact thing nothing's different about getting this container up and running so just go ahead and follow that tutorial and then you can come back to this video when you're at the same steps as once that is started let's go ahead and do ip space a grab our ip for this box go to our browser paste that in colon 81 and let's go ahead and create our admin account really quick. again this will all be in that video as well so we're just speed running through this very quickly now we have nginx proxy manager running now we know that it is running on this IP right here. So we're going to go back to our pie hole and then we're going to type in our domain name, which is kagatsu.cc. The associated IP is the Nginx proxy manager IP and then click add. Now we're going to do a simple web servers for this example, but you can do literally every single one of your services that you're running in your home lab. So for this test, we're going to do web.kugatsu.cc and then the target domain is going to be kugatsu.cc and then the TTL, which is the time to live, we're gonna just type in 60 seconds and click add. In normal C name records in your DNS, you normally are just supposed to put web and then the target. For some reason, Pihole does not like that. So you have to put in the whole domain and then to the target. If you guys don't know how C names work, it's just an alias. So whenever someone queries for this, it redirects them to this. But then on our back end, our A record is this is actually this IP, which is our Nginx proxy manager server. This is pretty much all you have to do in Pihole. Pretty much don't have to come back here. So one thing that we're gonna need to do is on our Windows VM now, we want to go ahead and type in control. We're gonna open up the control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings on the left side, and then we're gonna see our ethernet or our network. We're gonna click properties, internet protocol version four and click properties. I already have this done, but you guys may see all of this blank. All you really have to do is turn on this check right here, this radio button where it says, use the following DNS server addresses and then type in the first DNS is going to be your pie hole IP. And the second one, you can put your, your alternate DNS server, your routers, or you can put Google or Cloudflare. Second one doesn't matter. First one is the priority. So then let's go ahead and click OK and click close. And then now this computer is pretty much set up. All the rest of the setup is pretty much going to be an Nginx proxy manager. We are going to want to go ahead and let's go ahead and open up a new PowerShell prompt. We're going to want to go ahead and start a very simple web server just so I can show you guys. But again, use your home lab services. It'll work just fine. To start a very simple web server, we're just gonna press enter. And now we have a server running on HTTP on port 8000. Very simple. I already know the IP of this box, so we're gonna click add proxy host and we're gonna type in web.kugatsu.cc. And then here we're gonna type in that IP of the box of our web server. And again, we are doing port 8000. Let's go ahead and check all of these. Go to SSL. Now this is a relatively simple, if you have an outward facing port 80 Nginx proxy manager, this will work instantly. 
But if you want everything to stay internal, everything to stay private, you're going to have to use DNS01 authentication. So you're going to click request new certificate, force SSL, HSTS enabled. You don't have to do those things. I like turning those on. And then this is the important one using a DNS channel. We're going to tick that on. Our DNS is hosted on pork bun. And then we're going to need to type in a API key and an API secret. Whichever DNS provider you guys are using or domain registrar you guys are using, all of these will be different. As you can see, Nginx Proxy Manager has tons of options to choose from. I'm just specifically using pork bun. I am going to go ahead and go grab these two keys, show you guys how to do this. There are there is a lot of private information in the back end, so I can't fully show that. But again, just look it up online. There should be some tutorials. We're going to paste in our API key here and then our API secret. And these will be deleted afterwards, so these won't work. These will be voided, so you guys won't be able to use them. And then all we have to do is click save. This will take some time, but it's going to go ahead and use Serpbot in the back end to go ahead and generate an SSL certificate using the uh, DNS challenge and I will see you guys once that is done. Once that cert gets assigned, it'll go ahead and reload and you will now see under SSL, you will see let's encrypt and then we should be good to go. So if we go back to the Windows VM and open up a command prompt, let that load should take but a second. And if we just type in ping web.kugatsu.cc and press enter, as you can see, it does resolve and instead of resolving to the you know public domain registrar because that's where it is registered kugatsu.cc it actually pings the local ip address of the pihole server so i'm pretty sure almost positive and you can also see that it did do the alias correctly where web actually resolved to kugatsu.cc so now nginx proxy manager will take that query see that you were actually requesting web dot and direct you to the web server that we have running on our actual machine. So if we type in web .cc and press enter, and just like that, we are in. As you can see, it's just directory listing of wherever we ran that web server. It's just all the files that exist there. But as you can see, we also have a cert. Connection is secure. We can go ahead and open that cert up, web.kugatsu, and it is a verified organization. Let's encrypt. And that is pretty much it. You guys can do the same exact process for every single service you're running in your home lab. You can put SSL over everything, and that is split horizon DNS. I highly recommend you guys do it. Everything stays internal you don't have to open anything to the public internet and you can still have everything encrypted with uh, https or ssl i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did please let me know in the comments if you have any questions add those to the comments as well and i will catch you guys in the next one